Hello, my name is Pat Griffin. I'm a senior inspector with the Health and Safety Authority, and this is a farm safety update in association with MUCO. Our vision at the Health and Safety Authority is that people have healthy, safe, and productive lives and enterprises. However, the performance in agriculture continues to lag behind significant improvements in occupational safety and health of most other economic sectors. A significant reduction in fatal and non-fatal injury in the Irish economy is not yet reflected in the agriculture sector. There's continual change in all sectors. However, expansion and increased output and indeed increased workload in agriculture has had significant impacts. Across the EU, there are many farm safety uh, incidents. Agriculture has the worst fatal incident rate of all major employment sectors in the EU. Over 550 farm fatalities are reported in the EU each year. However, many that happen to self-employed farmers, migrants, go unreported and there's potentially 2,000 fatalities per year in the agriculture sector. 30% of injuries in agriculture happen during machinery maintenance and repair. Tractor incidents are the most common cause of machine-related injuries in EU farms. A third of the tractor injuries are a result of simply jumping, slipping, or falling from the tractor access points. There have been three major HSA publications this year. The first, a review of work-related deaths involving vehicles in, in Ireland between 2010 and 2019. The second was a review of work-related fatalities in agriculture in Ireland in 2011 to 2020, and the Farm Safety Action Plan 2021 to 2024. The review of work-related deaths involving vehicles that looked at all sectors of employment showed that the agriculture sector accounted for over half, that's 51% of all work-related deaths involving vehicles. These deaths disproportionately affected older people, with 65% of vehicle victims in agriculture aged 55 years and more. Looking at these deaths, we have 95 farmers have been killed and 15 non-workers, and these non-workers were generally children. You can see that tractors, teleporters, and quads were the vehicles involved in these fatalities. Tractor and vehicle safety on farms must be made the number one priority to imp make improvements. Awareness of crush zones behind the tractor, between the tractor and walls, at tree point linkages, when connecting other machinery, or indeed when operating a quad that could turn over and crush you, must be raised. Sadly, a farmer here was unaware of a crush zone, and when this Slurry tanker took on a load, it slipped backwards and crushed him against the building, fatally injuring him. Tractor and machinery safety incidents lead to very serious life-changing injuries and fatalities. These are generally due to lack of training, operator order, or poor maintenance, or approaching or working too close to operating machinery. Maintaining machinery or clearing blockages while the machinery is still running or can be restarted causes many injuries and deaths. Operating machinery if tired, distracted, unwell, or with insufficient experience is also a problem. Or being struck by or driven over by a moving machine or vehicle. Two new documents have been launched in August 2021. These are the Farm Safety Action Plan 2021 to 2024 and a review of work-related fatalities in agriculture 2011 to 2020. These were given huge support by two ministers, Minister Damien English and Minister Hayden. It was also supported by our Chief Executive, Dr. Sharon McGuinness and the new Chairman of our Farm Safety Action Plan Farm Safety Partnership, Kieran Roach. This video shows clearly the support given by these people.
The Farm Safety Action Plan is an ambitious plan developed to improve the health and safety in the agricultural industry. The plan by the Farm Safety Partnership Advisory Committee is focused on building a safety culture within agriculture. Achieving the objectives will be important in our drive to lowering fatalities and serious injuries in farming. I would encourage all farmers and business operators in this industry to avail of and use the existing resources, including extensive HSA guidance and the Farm Safety Code of Practice. In reading the recent HSA review of work-related deaths in agriculture in Ireland, we can see that over half of all farm deaths involve tractors and other farm machinery. I'm asking farmers, as we move between the seasons, to consider what machinery they will be using in the coming weeks and months and to check that they are in a safe condition for use. The latest Farm Safety Action Plan for 2021 to 2024 reminds us that education around safety is crucial. So it is important that we as farmers ensure that we undertake the necessary training on all of the machinery and equipment we use. I'd ask farmers to take time to complete important risk assessments ahead of the winter months. Is there appropriate lighting in the farmyard? Have slats been checked for wear and tear? These and other important questions can help make our farm safer. The Farm Safety Partnership Advisory Committee an advisory committee to the Board of the Health and Safety Authority has published its latest Farm Safety Action Plan for 2021-24. The Farm Safety Partnership has made considerable progress in raising awareness of farm and farm health and safety. Introducing behavioural change in relation to health and safety of farmers will be a key part of achieving a sustained reduction in the number of fatal and serious accidents in the sector. The Farm Safety Action Plan has set out key objectives and initiatives that our members will continue to deliver on with the core aim of improving safety and health of farmers. We all have to work together, not just to achieve the ambitions of the plan, but also to achieve a sustained reduction in injuries and fatalities within the sector. A shared ownership for improving health and safety in the agricultural sector and the family farm is imperative. The latest HSA review of work-related deaths in agriculture found that 208 deaths occurred in agriculture in the 10-year period from 2011 to 2020. 51% of these victims were aged 65 years or older and there was a notable increase in deaths during the summer months between June and August. I welcome the Farm Safety Partnership Advisory Committee's Action Plan, which sets out clear steps for all involved in the sector to improve the health and safety of farmers. This plan, which the Authority is fully committed to delivering, together with our partners across the community, will protect not just farmers themselves, but their family and their loved ones too. So the main findings of the review of work-related fatalities in agriculture have been used to make this action plan. These findings included that more people died in agriculture during 2011 to 2020 compared with any other economic sector in Ireland. Of the 495 work-related fatalities in Ireland during this period, 42% or 208 people were killed in agriculture. 47% were over the age of 65. 10%, that's 21 of the 208 fatalities were children under aged 18. 16% of all fatalities occurred in July. Almost half of all work-related fatalities in agriculture involved vehicles, 93 incidents. And 70% of fatalities involving cattle were to those aged 65 years and older and 21 work-related fatalities in agriculture involved falls. Common deaths to older farmers, and these are photographs of fatal accident scenes, and we extend our sympathies to all involved. Here a 73-year-old farmer at the back of this trailer unloading livestock was crushed between the trailer and the concrete pillar. Here, a 70 year old farmer was out herding cattle on his quad and struck a pole and suffered head injuries, which, which resulted in a fatality. Here, a 67 year old farmer went in to turn off a scraper in this shed and was attacked by a freshly calved cow. Another elderly farmer here working on with the calf was attacked also by the cow and died from his injuries. Older or senior farmers safety. Older or senior farmers should consider their physical limitations. Does their hearing or sight compromise their safety? 
Could their speed of movement, their reaction times, their flexibility compromise safely? Does the medication or warfarin that, uh, that they on uh, compromise them? Is the tractor machinery properly maintained? And is their work enterprise and workload suitable for their age? So common debts to children, and again, we extend our sympathies, and these photographs are shown to show how simple in fatalities can happen to children, which are mostly associated with tractors and machinery. Two-year-old child reversed over. A nine-year-old falling off a load, going back to a farm. An eight-year-old killed when the bucket of a loader fell on top of her. A 12-year-old child killed in the tractor he was allowed to drive went out of control. So for child safety, we must provide a safe and secure play area for young children. We must keep children out of the farmyard while work is in progress. Children must be accompanied and supervised at all times while they're in the farmyard. Establish simple rules, such as a do not pass point that children will generally follow. Children under seven must not be carried in any tractor or farm machinery. Older children, if carried, must have a dedicated seat and seat belt, as the photograph shows. Young persons must be over 14 to operate a tractor on a farm. However, this can only be allowed after appropriate training, adjustment of the seat and controls, and when they're under the direct supervision of an adult in an, an appropriate sized tractor. Farm Safety Action Plan responds to many of these findings in the report of fatal accidents. With working groups, we have a working group on tractors and high-risk machinery, a working group on livestock, a working group on buildings and work at height, working group on health and vulnerable persons like the elderly and migrants, and a working group on behaviour, education and culture change. If we focus on livestock for a moment, we can see that since 1996, the non-fatal injuries to farmers and other people on farms have increased dramatically. The blue bar showing the ever-increasing incidents involving livestock. This is generally caused by the increased herd numbers across Ireland. We have produced a video which shows clearly how to handle and keep safe while you're dealing with livestock. We have other guidance material and information sheets, and we would ask farmers to make use of them. They're freely available on our website. We'd also ask farmers to look at their design and layout of their handling facilities. Do they have escape points? And do they have facilities that help them deal with their animals and keep them safe? Calving time can be particularly dangerous. Many fatal attacks have occurred while handling calves. We would ask farmers to always protect themselves when dealing with a calf and establish a good physical barrier, particularly when tagging, dehorning, or interacting with a calf. We have many survivor stories where people tell the stories of how they've survived attacks by livestock and other incidents. And we'd ask farmers to view them and learn from them. If we look at vehicle safety for a moment, when things go wrong, not only on the farm, but out on the public road, things can be devastating. Tractors, slurry tankers, and other farm machinery crashing or overturning can have devastating consequences for other road users. Tractors and large machinery that go out of control in small towns and villages can be catastrophic. Here, a tractor fully loaded with silage lost control, went straight across a very busy road, struck a tree, and you can see that the engine of the tractor went up the tree, but the, but the silage trailer kept coming and crushed the cab. 
and you can see in the second photograph that the cab was completely crushed. The operator was managed to jump free and survive this incident, but a child had been carried for most of this day in this tractor. If the child had been present during this incident, I believe the child and the operator would not have been able to escape and would have been killed. The tradition of giving children spins on tractors, like in this photograph or in other situations, must stop. We have lots of information and guidance on the safe use of tractors and machinery. They are the biggest cause of death and injury on farms, and we'd ask farmers to make themselves familiar with it and follow some of this guidance. To ensure farm safety, the major areas that we need to put particular attention on is the age of farmers, to make sure that they are looking at their limitations and managing their work. The second area we need to look at would be vehicle safety and making sure that the vehicle is fit for use, properly maintained, and that the operator is competent. The other major area is livestock safety. I believe working together, we can make Ireland a leader in farm safety and health. So with, with, with the support of all major stakeholders, we can achieve this. Please visit hsa.ie for this guidance and information, and we are delighted to work with MOOCOL. Thanks for your attention. Mm -hmm.